Vlogger here. Topic of the day. Topic of the day. How to pack. How to pack for a bike commute. All right, let's do it. Let's get off the trail. So this is my backpack. Uh, it's the Deuter Road 1. Let me take it off and show you. Oh, gets the job done. Little backpack. Let's try to get some light there. There we go. Little backpack. Deuter Road 1. Got a little channel here for air. Um, very little contact on the back. Uh, that's really what you want with the backpack if you're going to do a backpack because your back will get sweaty in the summertime. So what do I pack in my backpack? Let's take a look. So on this top compartment, got my phone. Also have a helmet cover for the rain. I don't use this for the helmet though. I put this over my saddle to keep my saddle from getting wet in the rain. Let's open the big compartment. Towel to wipe down. Also recommend soap or wet wipes. Got a spare set of clothes here. Pants and a shirt. This is summertime gear, of course. Also take spare underwear. And I got my work shirt. So where's my work pants? Where are my shoes? Where are my work shoes? Where's my belt? It's at work. Why would I carry it with me every day? If you got a locker or a desk, I recommend leaving as much stuff as possible at work. Then you can just bring a little bag like this. Otherwise, a rack or panniers, excellent idea. Let's ride. I gotta put all my stuff away now. All fits pretty well in this little bag. This is a five liter bag, by the way. Oh man. Let's do it. Let's do it. I got a little strap here to help hold the weight of the bag on me. Not necessary really, but it's an extra support. All right, all right. Back onto the trail. I don't want to work. Oh no. Oh no, we got sprinklers to deal with. Oh no, we don't want to go through the sprinklers. Let's see, can we go to the left? The right? Let's go. Oh no, I picked the side with the sprinklers. Okay, we're going to get a little wet. It's all good. It's all good. Let's do it. Oh, that was like perfect timing. Did not get all that wet. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, that was nice and refreshing. Nice and refreshing. Oh, we're woke. Let's make a right. Let's go this way. So we're in the park right now. On my way to work. Got to head west or yeah, west and south from here. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So yeah, I got some more tips packing for work. Um, like I said, one of the most important things is just keep as much stuff as you can at work if possible. Um, if you have a locker, of course, you know, uh, you'll need a lock for the locker and for your bike if you have to park outside or even inside, I guess, if you can't have it right by you, beside you all the time. You'll need a bike lock. Typically, uh, what a lot of commuters do is they leave the bike lock on the bike rack. I would not recommend leaving a bike lock on anything other than a bike rack because the maintenance staff might cut it. So you'd be dealing with that. Whew. Up the hill. Um, what else? If you got showers at work, that's great. Take some shampoo and uh, soap, deodorant, a towel. Hopefully you'd have, uh, you know, a locker to store all your stuff. Woo! You may want, uh, want some sandals or something so you don't get all that foot fungi. Woo! 
at the company wash. Remember the company. What's this guy? He's backing up. Why is he backing up? Oh man. Okay, he's going there. <laughs> that was a far way back up. This guy's looking a little ominous. It's supposed to rain later. Previous video, I didn't have any uh, backpack with me because I usually leave a lot of my stuff at work. You got a couple options, really. You could bring all your stuff every day to work. You could leave a bunch of stuff like earlier in the week at work and then take it all home at the end of the week. You can do that with a larger backpack or panniers. Or uh, if you have a car, you could just drive the first day of the week, Mondays, and uh, take everything back on uh, you know, the following Monday, I guess. So, yeah, I guess you could just do that with a larger backpack, you know, or uh, panniers or whatever, some, some larger bags. Most people who are bike commuting will have a backpack, I'm sure. Uh, the one I'm using is, I'm not sponsored by them, by the way, the Deuter backpack, but, uh, most people will have backpacks, won't be waterproof. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't show you that, did I? Let me stop here a second. Most backpacks won't be waterproof. Uh, there are roll top, roll top bags you can get. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, see? In the, the lower compartment here, see there's like this fluorescent rain cover so some some uh some backpacks will have rain covers which are really nice Ooh -wee. oh man it's getting hot or i should say it's getting humid so yeah totally got to be careful watch out for rain uh, you already probably know that if you live in a rainy climate. Obviously, you don't need to worry about it so much if you live in a dry climate. <laughs> like a lot of the western states in the United States, they haven't been getting a lot of rain in recent years. Up the head! Up the head! Um, so yeah, definitely recommend that. What else? I actually got a list here. Let's see if I can pull it out. There we go. <laughs> Got my notes. And I'm watching that truck ahead of me because he's kind of stopped in the middle of the road. Nice guy. Thanks for that. Let's get around him. Woo. Nice and slow. Huh. Oh boy. Cobblestone. My friend the cobblestone. My friend the cobblestone. So happy all the roads around here are not cobblestone. <laughs> That would stink. Um, what else? Yeah, I said bar soap, wet wipes. Wet wipes are just baby wipes. Uh, <laughs> I'll talk about that maybe in a future video. Not great for the environment, but uh, kind of popular with uh, some bike commuters. What else we got? Food, of course. Now, this is another thing. You know, if your workplace is near a grocery store, you know, you can just buy stuff there. Uh, but if you prefer, you know, you can make your food the night before, pack it in some uh, you know, Tupperware, some reusable plastic ware or something. Oh man, it's getting kind of dark, isn't it? I feel like it's getting kind of dark. <laughs> I would say I'm not really ready for the rain, but actually I am because it's uh, summertime. I got my spare clothes and that's all I do for the summer. I do, if I get wet, I get wet. Not a big deal. I'm still gonna wipe off anyway when I when I get to where I'm going. Let's drop down. Let's do it. In the middle of the street. Let's cross the street. Woo! Okay, here we go. Didn't get honked at. Fancy, fancy. What else we got? Shower cap. I did that for the uh, for the uh, saddle. Let's go left here. And I cut through this little neighborhood. 
kind of dangerous to be reading stuff while you're riding a bike, especially on a busy road. Well, just in general, but anyway, <laughs> what else we got? Oh yeah, all the tools. How did I miss that? Yeah, I, I got water with me, which is very important. That's kind of the most important tool for yourself, right? So, you got water, and then you got bike tools. So, why don't we just go ahead and stop here? Some pretty flowers over there, let's just stop here. I did talk about this in a previous video. Um, about bike tools. So here's my tool kit. This is a cage pack. It's, it's basically you could just cut off the top of a water bottle and stuff your stuff in it, but this is a nice uh, pre-made uh, kit for holding stuff. So I got, you know, some tools, Allen key. Got a battery for my uh, GoPro. Got some first aid stuff, you know, like uh, band-aids alcohol wipes got some uh, gloves for uh, you know if you're getting dirty I got tire iron pump spare tube some tissues so you know kind of the bare minimum uh, you know you could take other stuff like a spoke wrench isn't a bad idea it doesn't weigh that much of course bring your water oh yeah oh yeah that's good all right, back on the road. Um, chain tool, you could take a chain tool with you. You could take a couple spare chain links with you. Uh, what else would you possibly need? I mean, you could take spares of things. Oh man, I think I saw lightning. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's gonna rain. This might be a rain video. That'd be interesting. Uh, let's see here, what else we got? What else do we got? Yeah, deodorant, always a good idea. <laughs> um, bike lock, I mentioned that. You could again leave the bike lock at work on a bike rack if you don't want to carry it with you all the time. Always have some sort of lock with you though because you never know when you may have to leave your bike somewhere for some reason. If you're going, surely, let's go this way. If you're going, uh, I don't know, if you gotta make a stop and buy something or something, it's always not a bad idea. Let's take the alleyway. Woo! Yeah, that, that sky's looking a little, <laughs> a little dark. It looks actually not so bad behind me. Okay, here comes a car, nice. I'll go around to the side. I don't know if, eh, looks like you could almost fit two cars side by side in this alleyway. This is a abnormally, large wide alleyway another thing you'll want to have with you or leave at work uh, but always apply before you go is some sunscreen let's make a left I'm gonna left I'm gonna left this guy wants to go right but he's taking his time good for him let's wait for the light Woo. what else um so yeah, sunscreen is a good idea. Uh, what else would you leave at work? Like I said, it's not, it doesn't have to be that complicated. You know, I leave, you know, I bring a, a, a fresh dress shirt, you know, every day, but otherwise you could just leave, you know, your work pants at work, you know, you can reuse the same pants throughout the week. That's my opinion. You know, leave your tie, your suit jacket or whatever, all that stuff at work, your belt. You know, all that stuff, it just weighs you down. You don't need to bring it with you every day, unless you don't have a place to lock it up overnight at work. Huh. That's so odd, that guy in front of me, he just went, he, uh, watching that sedan to the right, he, uh, <laughs> he waited for that light to change until he made a right turn. You don't have to do that in this, uh, where, around where I live here. But uh, it is kind of a blind spot, so. Okay, he's sticking his butt out. Let's go around him. Okay. Let's see, is there a car behind me? There was. He's gone, where'd he go? Yeah, there's no car behind me anymore. <laughs> there was a car behind me until I 
went around that bus, so he must have made a, a turn back there a little ways. Okay. This, this guy's gonna back up. I sort of figured he was gonna do that. All right, so we're gonna cut over to the wrong side of the road. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Across the freeway on a way to work today. On a way to work today. Shero, extra points if you go over the Shero. Kaboom! <laughs> now I'm speeding up like Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Woo! Doop -doop 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 -doop. So I'll have more tips in the video description below. It's usually what I do, my video blogs. The bike blogger. Hey, I went green! Sweet! Sweet! Da -da -da -da. Do, do, do. Let's go straight. Try to slow down for the stop sign. Da, 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 da. If anyone lives in uh, Idaho, I'd like to know. Since they have the, they've had the Idaho stop rule since the. Correct me if I'm wrong. Since the 70s, 1970s, so like 40 plus years now, or whatever. Our cars, like, you know, used to just rolling through the stop signs. I'm curious because that's one of the first places where they made it completely legal for you to do that on a bike. Uh, Idaho is kind of a rural state, though, so I think, I don't know, I guess maybe longtime residents would know of the, of the rule, but I think a lot of people would be kind of like, what? What is that? And they still act a little strange around bicycles. I always try to ride defensively because you gotta kind of predict. Well, you gotta ride predictably, but you gotta kind of assume nobody sees you. And it's not that they can't see you, you know, it's just that, you know, they're playing on their phones or texting while driving or something, so uh, th therefore they can't see you. So you gotta always be aware of your surroundings. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Legally, at least around where I live, you uh, you don't need to be able to hear anything. But listening to music and stuff can be distracting, of course. Um, gotta be able to see, of course. So that's the bare minimum. Oh man, it is looking kind of. Kind of dark to the to the right here, so toward the west. But that's okay because we're almost work now. Almost work now. Woo! So what's your experience uh, packing for work? Packing for work. I'll probably have another video in the future about uh, you know, what do I wear every day? It's so easy in the summer though, because it's just shorts and short sleeves. Um, could you wear? Your, uh, your dress clothes, your work clothes on your way to work. Yeah, possibly. Um, if it's kind of humid around where you live, you're just gonna get all the clothes really sweaty. Um, so of course I still would re recommend having a, a washcloth or something at work to wipe down. Um, you know, one, one, one idea is to actually make yourself more hot by wearing an undershirt so then the undershirt hopefully soaks up most of all the sweat and then uh and then from there you know you just remove your undershirt and you just have your work shirt you know so that's a poss that's an option you're gonna probably overheat a bit though in the summertime oh i'm so happy that they uh that they paved this road oh man it's getting darker it's getting darker <laughs> oh this is so interesting so interesting, but I don't think it's gonna rain for the end of the video here. So share your tips with the fellow bike commuters. Let us know what you do. How do you pack for work? Or how do you carry stuff uh, to work? You know, what is your methodology? You know, what works for you? What doesn't work for you? What do you recommend doing? What do you... Motorcycle, what do you not recommend doing? 
let us know in the comments section below. Whew. Nobody around. Oh, see you next time on the Bike Blogger channel. Doo -doo. Oh. oh man, it's gonna rain any minute now. I can feel it. I can feel it. Cause I'm an animal. I can sense it. Woo!